Hi everyone, so I've been telling you guys for a while that it is time for me to go through and declutter my makeup collection again. If you're new to my channel or you just haven't seen those videos, last fall I went through and decluttered my makeup collection and just got rid of old expired products, things that I'm not using, just an attempt to kind of simplify my makeup collection and just, you know, I had so many products that I was getting a little overwhelmed every time I looked at it, so I thought it was just time to declutter and really focus on a smaller collection. Not a super small collection because obviously I film beauty videos but a smaller more downsized one now when I was looking at those videos I realized it had been a year since I filmed them and I thought it was probably time to do it again decluttering isn't my favorite thing in the world because if we're honest no one likes to throw away products that they spent money on even if they're old or expired and no one likes to get rid of things that they don't use you know even if you don't really use that lipstick it's still not easy to get rid of it for some reason so I wanted to film this video all about decluttering tips because I've done it a lot I usually do it every single month to be honest you know just quickly but I wanted to share some tips with you guys about how I do it some good ways to do it you know so that it's not so overwhelming or so painful to part with those products and I will be decluttering my makeup collection coming up here in probably August so stay tuned for those videos so I have two tips to share with you before you even start decluttering and these will get you ready to go before you even you know tackle the project of decluttering my first tip is to get organized. Now, you might think, why would I organize my collection before I declutter it? But honestly, if your makeup is all over the place, if it's in a drawer here, a bookcase here, a purse, a bag, you might not really understand how much makeup you have or how many of the same colors you have, what products are old. I think it's best to get it in one place, get it organized, whether that is, you know, a drawer or a basket or you separate your lipsticks from your blushes. That way you can really get a look at everything you have. Have. and once everything is together then you can start decluttering my second tip is to stop buying backups and stop buying dupes or really really similar colors or similar products now of course there's an exception to the rule and you can do whatever you want if, if you love champagne pop and you know that it's limited edition and you want to grab another one go for it but I'm just saying don't get in the habit of constantly buying backups and constantly stocking up on products because your collection will quickly get cluttery and out of hand something that really helps with this as well as just any type of makeup organization is an app called snups you can get it for free so it's definitely worth trying out but basically what you do is take pictures of your makeup or like your books or your clothes whatever you want to do and you can organize it into shelves on the website so you can go through snap your lipsticks um, snap pictures of your blushes and put them into shelves on here you can leave them private so only you can see them or make your profile public so other people can kind of check out what you have I love this because it's basically like you can take your entire makeup collection with you when you go shopping so you can take a picture of all your blushes and put them on a shelf and then when you're at Sephora you can scroll through and see which blushes you have you know I can't count how many times I've gone to look at the Tarte blushes and been like I really want this one and then I get home and I have that color and of course you can return it but this will just make such a difference because you won't buy dupes if you already have it in your collection you won't buy it again or you might not buy a similar color like you can go through and say like I already own four red lipsticks that look like this maybe I'll try a pink lipstick I love this I think there's so many different uses for it what I've been doing is taking pictures of new makeup so here's my shelf with my new makeup on it and that way I won't buy like another foundation until I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation or I won't buy another lipstick until I use this Stila Stay All Day lipstick so it's really just a great organizational tool and I love that you can literally take your collection with you if you guys want to follow me I'll have my profile down below it's just Andrea Matilia I already have 3,000 followers which is awesome so thank you to any of you who have followed me and if you guys have the app let me know your username in the comments below so I can follow you but it's free click the link in the description box below to try it out and download it you guys will love it and it will literally change your organization game and it honestly beats writing it down in a notebook or taking pictures and storing them on your phone you can just organize it so nicely in that app and it's kind of fun to see what other people have because I always like checking out other people's collections so I'll have that in the description box below if you're interested okay now that you have gotten organized and you've stopped buying backups and dupes or at least cut down on that 
it comes time to actually declutter the products. So what I like to do is go category by category. You know, even if you don't have a lot of makeup products, just start with the similar products because you're going to want to compare them to each other to see which ones you're going to want to keep, which ones you're going to want to throw away, and which ones you're going to want to give away. So the first thing that you want to do is get rid of any old or expired products. I feel like this is kind of an obvious thing to say, but at the same time, it might not be that obvious to some people. I will have a link below with kind of like guidelines to expiration dates. Honestly, I don't necessarily follow all of them just because, you know, if I'm throwing my makeup away that often, it's you're spending a lot of money just to throw it away. But if something has clearly changed color, changed texture, changed scent, or it just doesn't apply like it used to, get rid of it. Makeup does expire. It will harbor bacteria. And honestly, you know, it's it's just it's pointless to put expired products on your face because you can get an infection. It's not going to apply the same that it used to, and it's just kind of gross if you think about it. So get rid of older expired products. Look at the product, decide if it's old or if you've known that you've had it for like six years, it's time to let it go sometimes. So it's painful, it's not fun, but you can take a picture of it and add it to one of your shelves and purchase it later, you know, if you don't want to forget about it. The next thing is to get rid of products that are just not the right color for you, the right shade for you, or you honestly just don't like the product. Sometimes we'll hold on to a product if we spend a lot of money on it and we still don't like it because we'll say, I'll try it again and maybe I'll like it. I've done this. I'm like, I'll try it again, 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 and I never like it. And it is it is painful to get rid of a product that you don't like, but you can pass it along to someone else and you know maybe your sisters or your mom or a friend would like but it. But if you are not wearing it, if the color just doesn't work for you or if the foundation shade is completely wrong, it's time to get rid of it because it's just taking up room in your collection and you're not using it. My next tip is to create a maybe pile. Sometimes I will take a basket and throw in lipsticks that are like a maybe and I will either swatch them and decide, no, I have a similar product to this, I don't need this one or I will give myself a chance to wear it over the next few weeks and if I decide I like it I'll put it back in my collection and if I decide I don't like it then I'll put it in a pile to either give away or get rid of if it's a little bit older or can't be sanitized so you know you don't have to decide right on the spot if you're going to throw something away every single time if you have some products that you're on the fence about you know don't necessarily just get rid of them but try them out play with them try them on and see if they work for you if you like them and if you honestly truly don't like them then it is hard but just part with it because honestly you're not going to end up using it and it's just going to take up room in your collection. I think that major declutterings can be a little bit tough like if you've never done this or you haven't done it in a while it's a little bit overwhelming to just go through and do it all at once so just take it drawer by drawer section by section if you don't like doing it or you find that you're being a little bit too easy on yourself just try doing like lipsticks one week lip glosses the next week until you make it through. Another tip that I would have is to constantly rotate your makeup. If you have a lot of makeup or even if you don't, you know, even if you just have like five different lipstick shades, choose one to throw into a basket to use that week or that month and use it for that month. And if you decide you know, at the end of the month that you didn't like it, then you can get rid of it. Or if you decided that you loved it, then you can keep it. I've been doing everyday makeup drawer videos where I kind of load my vanity drawer with new makeup. And then at the end of the month, if there are products in there that I didn't like, that I just... I have to get rid of them. You know, I make it a goal for myself to try to get rid of things that I'm not using because there's no point in holding on to it if I don't like it. You can also make it a goal for yourself that every time you get something new, something old has to go. You know, that just kind of depends on your personality and if you want to do that, but you can make it a rule that you won't get a new lipstick unless you get rid of one. Now, once you're done decluttering, you know, and you're left with all of these products, what are you going to do with them? Obviously, you're going to want to throw away the expired products don't give those to someone else. If they're expired and they're old, throw them away. Make sure that if you can recycle the containers that you do that and that you dispose of these products properly. Or if you have products that you haven't touched that are brand new but for some reason you don't want them and you know that they don't work for you, you can actually donate those to women's shelters. You can donate them to organizations online or you can pass them along to a family member or a friend. And then if there are products in there that you have used but you still don't like them and they're still in pretty good condition or they're still a little bit newer, I would say pass them along to a family member or a friend depending on how they feel about that. 
I give my mom and my sisters products all the time because we're family and we don't mind sharing, you know, makeup products and things like that. So that way you're not really wasting anything. Decluttering can kind of be a good thing, especially if you're donating to women who don't have makeup. It feels really good in the end and once you look at your collection and see that there's more room in there, that there are actually products that you like and that you use, and when you go to choose makeup you're not overwhelmed by all of your choices, it honestly feels so much better. So those are all of my decluttering tips. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. I hope that they were helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.